Good morning and welcome back to Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Today we are looking at a storm alert weather day, but that's for this evening. Right now, heading out the door, no problems at all. Holiday in downtown camera showing this nice view of the scenic city where it is 65 comfortable but warm degrees in the scenic city, 63 in Cleveland, 53 in Murphy and 59 degrees in Athens. Weather headline showing some late day storms developing uh, following that awesome weather through the weekend. And then we will have more rain and thunderstorms for the first half of next week. So our severe weather outlook for today uh, showing a slight risk of severe storms moving through the Tennessee Valley. Again, after about 5 p.m. is when we'll have the best chance for seeing some of those storms moving through. I don't think tornadoes or hail is going to be an issue. I do think damaging winds will be something we need to look out for with some of those storms that manage to move through. 15% risk of damaging winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. So things like power outages down tree limbs, certainly a possibility with some of these storms moving through. Now, we're going to see the storms right now moving through a lot of the places that saw them yesterday. This moved just a little bit to the east, but still lots of Texas, Oklahoma, uh, stretching on up into Missouri, uh, still getting some strong, if not severe thunderstorms moving through those areas. We'll plot it out with our Vipercast imagery, and you'll see by about lunchtime, some of those showers and storms moving into Nashville. We'll zoom in, and by about 5 o'clock, we'll start to see some of those spotty storms moving over the plateau. Now notice, 5 o'clock, most folks won't be seeing anything, but we will see these spotty areas of thunderstorms, mainly north of the city, developing around 5 o'clock. And then as we continue to move through the evening, this is 6 o'clock, still east of 75, really nothing at all. Uh, but we still have that line of uh, uh, scattered thunderstorms moving through. 6 o'clock, then 7 o'clock, we see it moving across the interstate uh, into McMinn County, Hamilton County, Bradley County. And then 8 o'clock, we'll see that moving up into the Blue Ridge Mountains. Not much going going on 8 o'clock in the valley, but then as we see that front sliding through uh, late tonight, we're talking about 11 o'clock midnight, we may see a couple of additional showers or thunderstorms firing up. But after midnight, uh, we will see the front sliding eastward. Skies will clear and it should be absolutely beautiful on Friday afternoon, Saturday, and even Sunday. So get ready for a stellar weekend and we'll want to enjoy it because more showers and thunderstorms are on tap for next week. So sunny upper 70s Friday and Saturday and then on Sunday we'll uh, keep the cloud cover back into the forecast bring it back in but I don't think we'll see any rain Sunday it's not going to be until Monday morning through the day Monday and even into Tuesday when we have a pretty good shot of more showers and thunderstorms moving through so Monday Tuesday Wednesday uh, we'll have some scattered thunderstorms and then we'll dry out for the second half of next week now just today we are looking at uh, rainfall amounts really hit and miss. Some areas could get a half an inch or more of rain. Some areas maybe less than a tenth of an inch. So again, this is not going to be a widespread event where we have everybody getting strong, severe thunderstorms. These are going to be very hit and miss, very pinpoint as we move through the evening hours into the nighttime. So increasing clouds, late day storms developing into this evening, upper 70s and low 80s, and then we'll begin to clear out through the overnight into tomorrow. Cooler tomorrow morning in the 50s widespread and storm alert weather day in response to the slight risk of those damaging winds with storms this evening and then beautiful through Sunday and bringing the storms back into the forecast of the first half of next week.